Good evening. My name is Anthony Robinson, Senior, 2604 Harmon Avenue, Northeast Canton, Ohio, 44705. I come in peace, <laughs> but I also come with the words of Blake. We are led to believe a lie when we look through and not with the eye. I'm looking through the eye. And I don't believe anyone is opposed to change because we make changes every day in our life. But I think people are opposed to change when it has no merit. When it's done maybe behind hidden agendas. Now, if if as a leader as, as myself, leading groups of people, I believe as a leader, there should be steps in progress to move the masses. Now, I was told that this was in the making for 20 or 30 years. Now, if it was in the making for 20 or 30 years, how come there was nothing in place to prepare the masses for this collaboration or whatever we're doing here, okay? Now, there was no parents, hand surveys. There was no data on how many exposures McKinley had, how many Timken had. There was no data on your Brighter Tomorrow plan. Has it been academic? academically significant or not. I mean, there's no qualitative data, no research, because as I recall, coming out of college myself, anytime a school closing, there's three things that come into play. Poor performance, saving costs, and under enrollment. You're going to get one of those three to rationale, to have a rational movement with the argument that's going to bring in better education rights. Come on, people. 30 seconds. 30 seconds is, and I'm going to say this. We have a plan. And I'm requesting that the board sit down with me and my group to see our brighter tomorrow plan. City, keep both schools, keep your plan, and keep this community out of mayhem. So are you willing to meet with me and my friends to give you our plan to keep a better tomorrow? Time's up. I'm going to give my business card right here.